Libra, let's shuffle the cards. You do have the Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. We have an emotional loss and we have material harvest. So I don't know how this goes together. Five of Cups is the energy of missing somebody also, but it's the energy of guilt and regret in regards to a situation. And maybe we are single now. And we do have the Seven of Swords, Deception and Envy. That is this energy around you. Somebody either is deceptive around you or this is you not um, telling the truth to yourself about a situation. And mental conflict. We need to make a decision, right, Libra? Two of Swords, mental conflict. So there might be something that is close to your heart you are not talking to anybody about and it's like okay and we absolutely have to be strong about we do have the strength might be a leo involved in this situation with you and the emperor aries energy one is about power one is about authority so you might be their boss they might be your boss that kind of energy or this is simply about taking control and having a plan getting organized coming to this connection from a place of power so overall energy in may and i would say the first week even if it's like may 4th or something like that we do have the hangman seeing things from a different perspective but we also have sacrifice we do have the three of pentacles which is the energy of partnership of building a life together I know in this deck is recognition and reward, but it's um, mainly about, you know, building a life and um, creating something solid with somebody. And the Three of Cups. We do have the energy of reconciliation. We also have a lot of three, so I'm just saying for some of you, um, you know, who's sacrificing for all these um, three. But at the end of the day, if we are patient enough, we do have the patience card. Um, it's temperate. Um, but we, um, if we are patient enough, right, we do have recognition and reward and rejoice in celebration. That is something kind of annoying with the sacrifice. You get actually, um, Libra, you get two words of advice. One is sacrifice, one is patience. So however, this resonates for you. And one is partnership and reconciliation. However, this resonance will um, see with the other energies there. So. so let's see. Past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Hangman is Pisces Cancer energy. So for some of you, it might be a water sign. We have the current energy. So let's see the possible outcome for you and the person you are dealing with. And then we start the reading one by one. We do have the energy of peace of mind. You do have patience and peace of mind here. But it comes with a sacrifice energy, but we have moving on. Patiently moving on from a situation, I would say, in order for you to get back in balance. Three of Cups is the energy of um, kind of easiness of the heart. It's kind of like, right, easy breezy kind of energy, no stress kind of energy, but it's paired with the Three of Pentacles, so quite something going there. Yeah, you have the moving on. We'll see. You have conflicting energies here. So, Libra, what do we have in the past? We do have the world and we do have the chariot, cancer energy. <clears throat> Actually, the universe speaks of um, closing a chapter. This is about ending things with somebody and uh, moving on. That is the... Um, that is the chariot. This is breaking free of something and also the universe is happy endings, right? So um, it's um, done and you are you are done and um, and done <laughs> with somebody, that's for sure. I, I, I feel this is on, well, we'll see with the other energies, but there is a sense of freedom in the past on your side and that is a sense of thank God this is over. And with the chariot, we know it's like a, an important kind of um, spike in, in um, energy and vitality saying, you know what, I'm going to build the life I want and I am going to be, you know, what I want to be. Now, Libra, the person you are dealing with, they do have the strength and the sun. So um, might be a Leo you are dealing with over here, but we know the sun is all about illumination and truth. Somebody went through an awakening and we do have the strength. This is the energy of inner strength. Um, courage, power, 
this is the energy of taming themselves uh, this is somebody wanting to do something we know the uh, you know it's all about the strength card it's all about lust and entertainment it's, it's leo energy um but it's um and then they were taming themselves right it's the interesting they saw the light but they are taming themselves this person that you ended things um with and um and the universe is funny again just saying um mutual energies between the two of you it's interesting one has the wish fulfillment so libra you were their wish fulfillment that's for sure but then we have your energy ace of swords you got pretty clear in your head about something while this person was still desiring you and wanting you um actually you were their sunshine right that's a sun this is it kind of illuminating their life right and bringing a sense of strength strength and a sense of stability and this combination of energies actually it's like giving uh, power to somebody just by you know by being in their life somebody i mean this person was um absolutely illuminated in the process right and happy with the sun but i believe there was a sense again a sense of clarity and new beginnings with the ace of swords somebody cut off what was no longer necessary or no longer you know uh, good and i'm sensing really breaking free on your side while this other, other person still had emotions for you Libra, I love this energy. We do have the Two of Cups and the Empress. I simply love this. We know it's, well, it's Venus, so it's Libra sometimes. I always see it as a Leo feminine energy, but I know, you know, some of the, some of the things. Hey, that is a lot of glaze on the cards. Let me change this for you. And I know the sun is playful with, with us today. So it's up and down, up and down and hiding and, and anyways. So we are in a good place. Isn't it beautiful, Libra? We do have the Two of Cups and the Empress. This is um, in your own power, in your own strength. This is being in love. Probably you are in love with somebody. We do have the Two of Cups. Maybe somebody is offering you love. And now we need to, to kind of decide what to do. And we have the fertility energy. So some of you actually, you might be in a connection and this is about uh, being pregnant and this is about having kids which is amazing by the way so if i have to congratulate somebody out there i'm doing it right now but it's so much love on your hands it is a spiritual union you do have a bond with somebody and um comes from a place of creativity and abundance this is the energy of somebody treating you like their empress which is amazing right i mean why not so you might be in a connection with somebody right now in a relationship with somebody now the person you are dealing with we have them aware and we have them wanting a firm foundation with you um it's the four of pentacles we have somebody actually holding on to you and you were their illumination in some way with the sun energy and now the law of attraction with the um the magician so this is taking control and, and changing the situation this is making plans and this is having all the tools and feeling confident actually that they can build a firm foundation with you and i love the um energy both coming from a place of power one with the empress and one with the magician kind of different um well place of power but in a different way the empress has a different kind of power and the magician a different one but still very powerful energies Mutual energy is right now between you and this person. We do have obstacles and challenges and we have eight of wands and five of wands, right? We want to move forward. We want to be passionate about, for some of you can be passionate communication. Eight of wands, it is about Cupid, arrows and love. But right now the bridge is, that is a gap that is uh, broken, right? You see the bridge, right? It's not... The person cannot go on the other side so we still have obstacles and challenges to get this um, up and running in motion one is in manifestation mode one is um comes from a place of love and being aware and from a place of um wanting to nurture a connection the empress also is very nurturing energy and very loving while this person might be more practical four of pentacles is really the energy of building firm foundations right 
and even the magician. It's the law of attraction, but it's the practical. There's above, so below. Whatever was written has to be become concrete, and so that is a level of. So Libra, I don't know. Are you going to get married? Please invite me. I like weddings. I don't eat a bite and I dance all night, but when so <laughs> I'm just saying. I so love weddings, and I cry at the, at the you know whatever ceremony in church or whatever. Um, moving forward, Libra, you do have the Two of Cups, and we do have the Hierophant. This is Taurus energy, but this is the energy of wisdom. This is the energy of commitment, long term and traditional. This is the energy of marriage. So somebody might ask you to get married, and guess what? You have the Two of Cups twice. You have it in the current moment and you have it moving forward and it's a loving commitment and a, a loving connection and a lot of major arcana on your side so i believe you are going through fundamental changes here we have out of six we have four um major arcana so this is kind of the universe saying yeah you'll have a bit a little bit of control with the two of cups but not that much you know kind of energy so um, this is the energy of, um, of happening, right? This is the energy of it's written and meant to be and that kind of energy. And we have a lot of love here. Now, um, Libra, this person of yours, we do have uh, them actually in a positive movement forward and we have them putting the effort into having, having success with you. This is the energy of wanting this. This is the energy of wanting to be victorious, willing to learn. That's the Eight of Pentacles, the Apprenticeship card, the um, honing the skills kind of card. And um, it's like, you know what? Six of Wands. I have to win this. I have to have this. And in the past, it's like, yeah, but Libra was my light, right? They are not going, no, they, they will not let you go actually at all, right? And we have the light, the energy of awakening, and it's, Current energies is, is um, the magician, so double awakening. And now we have them working a little bit in May because in order to accomplish something, you need to make the effort. And Libra, too much love on your side, baby. I am just saying too much love. Can you slow down a bit? That would be helpful. Mutual energies between you and, and your person. We do have the Ace of Pentacles. So it's a new beginning, a new offer. And we do have the Two of Wands, both at crossroads and wanting to make an offer. But this is also the waiting game in order to have this new beginning. Again, we are going right now through obstacles and challenges. And it takes time to solve them. It takes some effort. It takes some awareness and some changes, some realizations. But no, I wouldn't doubt a bit that there will be reconciliation and partnership with somebody. Libra. And might be a Cancer, might be a Leo, strong, very strong energy of a Leo, by the way. Uh, Taurus twice, if we consider um, the Empress Taurus energy, I have my, my um, different um, opinion about, but let's say, because you don't have a lot of zodiac signs. Um, and you do have Pisces Cancer with a hangman as the overall energy and the temperance as the overall energy, Sagittarius energy. So I'm just saying, oh my God, this is such a beautiful connection. One awakening and one full of love. Oh, seriously. I guess I want to be a Libra today. So anyways, let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to do in regards to this commitment. What kind of, this is, a, um, I'm using activation cards, right? So what energies we need to um, get moving and flowing uh, when it comes to this connection, right? We do have joy, so we better celebrate this, actually. It says, um, you delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. Well, so we need to get the celebration and the joy moving, Libra. Maybe you forgot to have fun in the process. And the universe is kind of saying, why don't you activate the energy of joy? You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. We do have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Libra, if you are looking for answers, you know what? Sometimes we don't need them, right? Just saying. Why ask the questions, you know? We not all, you know, not we don't want to know all the answers to all the questions all the time. Anyways, we do have trust. 
you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition so libra your intuition is right baby that's exactly what you're if not you'll have to start trusting your intuition because this is the energy of trust that you need to get back in the flow and we have virtue oh my god i <clears throat> i was about to say something you acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow so we need to get that energy moving and we need to encourage this person your person somebody around this situation to grow and we do have integrity you demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action so people we need to get the integrity flowing i don't know if that is a, a blockage of some sort but the guidance is you know you demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action so let's have um i mean this reading was so clear with so many repeat cards or same type of energy so let's let's have two guardian angels and then we say goodbye we do have the world successful completion you have it twice libra you have it twice happy endings you know getting your happy ending actually so this is a time of incredible accomplishment you're justified in feeling joy a sense of completion and pride in the amazing job you've done you've been blessed with many spiritual insights soon you'll begin a new journey but for now take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true i love this and bottom of the deck we do have the nine of pentacles so life is wonderful are you kidding me happy endings and life is wonderful i mean right your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with great peace and contentment take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure feel free to buy yourself small luxurious gifts you you've earned the financial security and independence you now enjoy i'm sure you work hard libra that is why the universe is sending you this kind of you know and it's so interesting because the first um, energy of guidance was joy it's like you forgot to be joyful and have fun and we end up by saying well how about you take advantage of whatever you've created right and come from a place of abundance or enjoy your abundance so and you have the empress right now so i'm sure i'm picking up the energy of somebody who's financially good and at ease right that's the energy of i don't need anybody um and you are really guided to have a little bit more fun over here um uh, libra so um hey you know i love you right i wish you nothing but the best i want you to stay strong and safe please don't forget to like share and subscribe i know i said it at the beginning and come see me next time love you take care bye